I'm EP here on 2 and now it's time to talk to Siobhan Dillon who plays Sandy in Greece. Now, Siobhan, like Noel, your love of musical theatre goes way back, doesn't it? Way back, way back to when I was nine years old. And funnily enough, I just watched the production at the Dominion Theatre um, of Greece with my family and I'd gone home, spoken to a babysitter about how fantastic the experience was. She was putting on a concert and I said, can I sing a song? <laughs> she said, well, well um, you know, looking down at this nine-year-old, what would you want to sing? I said, well, I just saw Greece and I really enjoyed Look At Me, I'm Sandra D." And she said... <laughs> We might have to change a couple of the lyrics, but yeah, I'm sure we could give it a go. <laughs> and did you? Yeah, that was my first performance, yeah. Age nine. Age nine. So this isn't your first time in Greece then, is it? No. You, you've kind of uh, worked your way through the ranks, so to speak, on this musical. Yeah. Uh, so Sandy is a role, actually, that we both share, because I played it way back yeah. in the West End in the 70s, long before you were even born, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you prefer, though, of the styles of Sandy? The goody-two-shoes part of Sandy at the beginning or the more raunchy one at the oh, end? Oh, come on. On. I'm sure we both share this opinion as well. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> the I end, know what you're going to say. Obviously, the big yeah. black cat suit, yeah, it's classic. That's the reason to play it, of isn't course, it? Yeah. <laughs> Just to get to that. <laughs> exactly. Yes, exactly. Now, Siobhan, like Noel, you got your first break through a reality television programme, didn't you? Mm -hmm. You were one of the finalists in How Do You Solve a Problem Like Maria? That's right. Did that TV show open lots of doors for you? Do you know, I wake up every morning and just thank the Lord that it happened, to be honest. I'd probably still be at Fashion College right now. It's opened every door, literally. And without so, wanting to sound like Andrew Lord ever. <laughs> how did it happen? I mean, how did it come about? Well, I was home for Christmas after, I think it was a part-time fashion course I was on at the time. And my friend and I were looking through the stage newspaper and she's a dancer and she said, oh, there's Maria auditions coming up. Would you like to come along with me? Be a bit of moral support, we'll go together, it'll be filmed. And I said, yeah, all right, OK, let's do it. And then I turned up and she didn't. And so then I was left at the auditions <laughs> on my own. But still, I'm so glad I did it, obviously. And it was, again, something that I'd wanted to do, but I would never have done it if I thought I was going to be on my own. Gosh, I think I would have been petrified if I'd been on my own. You're thinking <laughs> my power's going to come with me. <laughs> yeah. uh, have you ever detected any kind of backlash from anyone from having gone through that process? Yeah, I mean, the first job I had really in the West End was in Greece and I was playing Patty Simcox and the majority of the cast there were quite young, they were straight out of college and although I was never subject to any sort of bullying as such in inverted commas, there were a couple of comments and I heard people say things, you know, it, there's a bit of bitterness there because I was understudying Sandy at the time as well mm -hmm. and I hadn't been to drama school and it was a bit of a shortcut for me, of course, and I think there were a few bitter people in that cast but I think rightfully so, to be honest, I think it must have been hard for them. Well, I think it's probably something to do with the fact that, you know, if they've been to college and done a three-year yeah. or longer course, you know, and here are you who had, what, 16 weeks exactly. crash course, exactly. I suppose you'd say, on TV, I guess that it can make people feel a little funny about things yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. But away from the stage, I believe you've been working on your own album, haven't you, in Nashville? That's right, yeah. Tell us about that. Um, I spent a little bit of time in Nashville after the first experience in Greece, actually. And um, in Nashville and also in Australia and um, New York, just songwriting and recording. And this actually, this album has been... <laughs> on the go now for a couple of years. I'm hoping to release it this year. But yeah, it's great. It's a bit of a folky mix with electronic, a bit of a Karen Carpenter, a bit of Eva Cassidy. So there's lots of influences in So are they cover songs you've done? No, no, they're originals. I've mm. co-written the majority of the album and a couple with of songs who? have been written for me. Um, my producer's called Elliot Kennedy and mm. he's one of the men responsible for Spice Girls back in the beginning. And he's worked with people like Celine Dion, Delta Goodrum. He's very good friends with Brian Adams and writes a lot with him. So he's got quite a nice selection of artists that he works with. Mm -hmm. And he's a very, very talented songwriter, musician and a producer. And you're hoping that's going to come out? This year, at some point. I'd okay. like the first single to be out in the summer. Well, that's fantastic. That's <laughs> something to look forward to. OK, well, listen, now I think it's your turn to perform for us. So what are you going to sing? Hopelessly Devoted. <gasps> oh, I love this. This is one of my favourites. OK, so here is Siobhan Dillon with Hopelessly Devoted to You. Take it away. Guess mine is not the first heartbroken My eyes are not the first to cry I'm not the first to know There's just no getting over you I know I'm just a fool who's willing to sit around and wait for you Baby, can't you see 
there's nothing else for me to do I'm hopelessly devoted to you But now there's nowhere to hide Since you pushed my love aside I'm out of my head Hopelessly devoted to you Hopelessly My head is saying, fool, forget him. But my heart is saying, don't let go. Hold on to the end. That's what I intend to do. I'm hopelessly devoted. stuff exclusively for us that was hopelessly devoted to you from Greece performed by Siobhan Dillon no Siobhan it's been great chatting to you this afternoon I, I wish you both uh, continued success with Greece down there at the old Piccadilly theatre and uh, well thanks guys for coming in and singing for us today thank you for thanks having for having us. Us. Thank thank you. You. just been fantastic and I think there's a spruced up car waiting outside <laughs> <laughs> Malk is it a manual or an automatic